Hi, I'm Lacey Rodriguez with No Filter Beauty, and this is my review of this Serenity Silk Top hair topper. I've had this topper for really close to a month now, and I think I have a pretty good idea of the quality and kind of an idea about the longevity of it, and I'm gonna go through all of those things, the pros and the cons, and also just the pros and the cons of silk tops in general. So the details on this topper are, it's an eight by eight, silk top with wefting. So I'll show you the cap. So the cap is an eight inch by eight inch measurement. The four by four inch right here is where the silk is. That's where the hair is hand tied one strand at a time onto the piece. And that gives you this free parting area where anywhere within this four by four inches, it's gonna look like, like scalp. Also, it hides the knots because the knots are sewn under layers of fabric um, and there aren't return hairs, which makes the hair lay very flat and sit very flush to your scalp. The rest of this is wefting. It's closed wefting, so you can see it's kind of stretchy. That helps it mold to your head. This one has six clips around the perimeter and then a comb right here in the front. So the comb just kind of helps stabilize it. And I'll show you how that all works. Uh, it's, I think it was 18 inches before I got it cut. And then I had my local stylist cut it for me. It came with some really beautiful layers. So that's really nice when the seller will send it to you already like kind of customized. Uh, but I still needed to go in and get it cut to match my length. We added a few more layers and a curtain bang and I kept the color exactly as it came. This is the color Bonnie. So it's a really dark base, probably a level three, um, possibly two, with some of these caramel highlights throughout. So pretty. This is Brazilian grade human hair, and the density is pretty average. So it's kind of hard to judge density when you're going company to company because the percentages and everything kind of vary company to company but um, this is pretty average and a lot of people consider that like 130% density. Some of the pros of this piece are number one, I know that the hair is super great quality. I know this because I've had it for a month and it doesn't show any need for washing. So that's a good sign because what I've come to find is that with cheaper pieces or less expensive pieces, sometimes they come and the hair is super soft and you're like, oh, it's really great quality. It's usually probably coated in silicone. Silicone will attract dirt and debris, so you'll have to wash it pretty soon after you get it. And then the more you wash it, the washes out the silicone and the hair ends up being brittle and dry. The fact that I don't need to wash this and I've worn it like in a lot of places and outside for a month and it still is super soft and silky tells me that it wasn't coated in silicone, which is a good sign because it means it's just good hair from the start. If it's really this silky and beautiful and shiny, then it was really healthy hair to begin with. I haven't had any shedding on this piece at all. Now, to be fair, I haven't washed it yet, so it's normal to have a little bit of shedding, especially after washing, and so time will tell, but if the fact that I've worn it for a month and I am not easy on my pieces because I really like to have a lot of volume, so I touch them a lot, and that's not a good habit to have, but it's held up really well for how much I touch it, uh, and I haven't had any shedding. If you were going to see some shedding, it would happen within the first few weeks. I love how flat this sits um, as far as like how I blend it. It's really easy to blend. I wiggle the comb in and sit it right at my hairline. And then in order to make it lay as flat as possible, I like to clip the back clips one at a time. And when I'm clipping it, I'm kind of pulling it down. This is a super stretchy cap. So I'm pulling it down a little bit, which is gonna hold it a little flatter. And then especially right here in the front, I grab the two front clips, I kind of position it exactly where I want it. And then I'll pull down on the clips and clip it in. So look at how flat it sits and I can pull my own bio hair out, these little um, highlighted pieces, that's my bio hair, so I'll pull that out and blend it in. And it requires literally no prep work. Like right now I have a little bit of concealer in my hair, but I don't need it. Uh, because this sits right at my hairline, I like hardly even need it. 
all in all, I am super happy with this piece. And also expectations play such a huge part in how happy you are with your topper. Because I'm familiar with silk tops, I already knew going into this piece some of the downsides that are just downsides for all silk tops. And I've tried to find workarounds for them. So number one downside of silk tops for me, not for everybody, <laughs> I really like to have a lot of volume on the crown of my head. Uh, I don't like my hair to sit super flat and sleek. So that requires a little bit more effort with silk tops. Again, because the knots are hidden underneath layers of fabric, it really redirects the hair to lay flat. It doesn't have any of those return hairs that will kind of give it some lift. So the way I combat this is just with styling. Um, when I styled it, I did, I used a round brush and I did some blow drying backwards, um, which gave it some lift. Another thing I do is when I'm doing my makeup, like if I'm wearing it or if I, like before I'm ready to just leave the house, I will pull it back in a clip like this, just the front pieces. I'll pull it back in a clip like that and just kind of like, sometimes I'll do my makeup like this or I'll just wear it around the house for a little bit. And um, it, again, it kind of helps give it some lift in the front. It's not gonna last forever and ever, but it gives it some good lift for a little bit anyway. So then when I take it out, it kind of does this beautiful curtain bang thing. <laughs> um, and like I said, it won't stay like that all day, but you could add like a little bit of hairspray if you wanted to kind of hold it, give it that hold in the front. Uh, I try not to use very much product on my hair pieces so that they will last longer, but there are things you can do. Also cutting the curtain bangs and some of these shorter layers has taken off some of the bulk so that it will um, have a little bit more lift on the crown. Another complaint of silk tops in general is that they can be hot. Now, it really depends on what you're comparing it to because if you're comparing it to not wearing a hair piece at all, of course it's gonna be hotter. <laughs> like, I hardly have any hair left, so when I'm not wearing a hair piece, it's, it's significantly cooler than when I am. Um, however, silk tops in comparison to other types of cap constructions like mono tops, lace tops, they're not as breathable because there's no like holes for the air to flow through, right? Um, that being said, it's still a topper. It's not a full blown wig. So I, it's only covering, you know, like down to here. It's only covering this eight by eight inch area. And it is more hair than what I'm north, you know, used to having. But honestly, I've been in over a hundred degree heat in this and it wasn't like unbearable to the point that I had to rip it off. That being said, I'm also not gonna go like hiking or like do yard work or anything in it. Um, so it was, it was totally doable for me. It wasn't so much a problem that it made me want to take it off. One more thing that can be hard with silk tops is getting it to stay put if it has a comb in the front. Now I prefer the ones with combs as opposed to clips right here in the front because I feel like they're less damaging and more comfortable. However, sometimes it does have a tendency to slide back because these are these these pieces are kind of heavy um and if my because my hair is so thin right here sometimes if I just comb it in it's gonna it can slide right and it won't stay put so here's how I figured out how to work with that I like to after I part my hair and I do a little bit of concealer um I go about an inch half an inch to an inch back and take just a little piece. You wanna be careful, you don't wanna do any more damage. But this is like if I just, if I'm gonna go out and I don't wanna to have to be worrying about it, I'll do just a little bit of back combing, but I back comb it on the front end instead of behind it. I'm gonna back comb it in the front, just a little. And then I take a really good grip dry shampoo or hairspray. This IGK First Class Dry Shampoo is my favorite. It is the grippiest. <laughs> dry shampoo I've ever used. I wouldn't use it like on my, I don't know. I think it's got too much in it to use it like as an actual dry shampoo a lot, but it gives a really good grip for your hair piece to hold onto your, your bio hair. Also, I might do like a little bit where the other clips are. And this is just like an approximation of where I clip it in. But having a little bit of grit and texture in your bio hair is gonna help it hold on, or help the topper hold on to it. So once I've sprayed that in, and I have this little bit of back combing on, so I have like a little cushion here, I'm gonna take the comb, 
I'm gonna line up the part. So this is where I want the part to go into. And then this comb, I'm going to start right there where that poof starts and wiggle it back like that. And it stops right there. Like right where that back combing is, is where it's gonna stop. And it's gonna hold on really well right there. So again, I do the back clips first. And I kind of sprayed that into that area of my hair. So it's got a good grip. And then these front two, this is where it's really important. You wanna pull these down taut. If you feel any pulling on your bio hair, you're gonna wanna reclip it, fix it. If it's pulling on your bio hair and it's uncomfortable, it's on wrong. Just adjust until it doesn't hurt anymore. But it's pretty seamless, especially when I pull my bio hair through the front. And now it'll stay put. It's not gonna be moving a lot. I play with it all the time, like I said. And um, as long as I do that little trick, it usually will stay put really well. Um, you can be out in the wind. I know nobody believes this, <laughs> but you can be out in a really strong wind. And if this is clipped on pretty good, especially because the base is so large, it's gonna stay put. Another thing that some clients are concerned about when getting a silk top topper is that they feel like it's a lot of hair. And this is kind of a conundrum because I always suggest a larger cap than you think you need because it's more comfortable and less damaging on your bio hair. The downside is that that's gonna come with more hair because it's a larger cap. Uh, there are some workarounds, again, for this. One thing is to make sure you're getting it customized. And I took this to my stylist, even though it had layers, um, it was a really cute cut. I took it to my stylist and got it custom cut. So she thinned out the front, especially. Um, the front seems to be where it's the heaviest for most people. So if you thin that out, if you get some face framing layers, like this I put in the curtain bang. Um, you don't have to have bangs if you don't want to, but you can just get it thinned out. Just like a stylist would thin out someone's hair if it was really thick. You can do that and it's gonna take off some of the density and make it a little bit lighter weight. Also keep in mind that when you're going from, you know, really thin hair to having like this thick voluminous hair, it's a big change and it's probably a bigger change for you than anybody else. It's just hard to see ourselves with so much hair because we feel like we don't look like ourselves. It takes a little bit of time. Uh, the first topper I got, it took me a couple of weeks to feel like I actually looked natural. Even though everybody assured me it looked good, I felt a little bit weird in it. So just give it some time. It takes a little bit of time to get, in, to get used to, but it's worth, it's worth the wait because now I don't even feel like myself without my topper. <laughs> I wanna say a couple of things about Serenity Wigs and Toppers as a company. Uh, Melissa has always been such a pleasure to work with. I work with her when I'm doing one-on-one -on -one consults and when I'm looking for something specific, she's always super sweet and easy to communicate with to find what I'm looking for. She also has a great color selection. Like her, whoever does her coloring is really good because <laughs> she's got a lot of really beautiful colors. And I've even seen quite a few virgin hair pieces on her site, which is super nice because you have a lot more leeway and freedom in coloring when you start with virgin hair. So it's nice if you can find one of those pieces if you're looking for something that is just hard to find. And lastly, I feel like Melissa's pieces are very reasonably priced, especially for the quality you're getting. Like I can tell you that this is really nice hair and a really good cap construction. And most of her pieces fall between the 700 and $1,000 range. So that's a steal if you're getting top quality hair that's gonna last probably for years if you take good care of it. I want to quickly thank Melissa. She very graciously gifted me this topper in exchange for my honest review and feedback. Uh, like I said, having the right expectations really can change your whole topper experience and knowing and understanding what to expect from a silk top in general can give you more confidence when you go to purchase one. Make sure you check out her website. I will link it below. She almost always has one of these Bonnie color pieces in stock, which is nice because it's a really sought after color and it's really beautiful on lots of different skin tones. If you're interested in learning more about toppers and how they're an awesome solution for thin hair, please consider subscribing and I will continue to produce more and more content to answer your questions. Thank you.